There is a good case to build a high-speed rail line. Well, so says the influential cross-party group of MPs on the Transport Select Committee. They've been examining plans for a new generation of bigger, faster trains, starting with a £32 billion link between Birmingham and London. And as the former Transport Secretary Andrew Adonis once memorably remarked, everybody wants a station, nobody wants the line. So, as our transport correspondent Peter Plisner found, the project's far from being a done deal. Believe the spin and you'd have thought that the committee had given HS2 a ringing endorsement. But flick through its report and you'll find a different story. Although the overall concept of high-speed rail does get the thumbs up, MPs want much more information from the government and the questions being asked are similar to those already posed by those against HS2. The Transport Select Committee are asking some very deep questions. They have deep misgivings about HS2 and the information they're asking for from HS2 will completely devastate the case for HS2. The committee is concerned about not only the strength of the business case, but also about investment levels on the existing network. MPs also want to know how HS2 fits into the government's transport and aviation strategies. If this is going to proceed, it goes through a long parliamentary process, and we're suggesting the key questions that need to be asked as the bill progresses, if the government decides to go ahead. For those places affected by HS2, last week's report shows that they're not the only ones with deep misgivings about the controversial plans. It's a row that's likely to become even more heated next month when the government publishes the results of a public consultation into the scheme. Peter Blizner. So ministers certainly seem to have their work cut out if they're going to have a considered response to the committee's criticisms ready in time for the big announcement following the public consultation on HS2 promised in just over a month's time. Steve McCabe, in common with uh, most Labour MPs, in fact all of them I think, are in Birmingham, Manchester, Leeds, all the big centres that are at the other end of the line from London, you're a supporter of it, but these are not just idle criticisms. Uh, all the, the financial case, the environmental impact, damage to rural economies, this is substantial stuff that the committee is uh, concerned about and so there are big issues here for Parliament to deal with, aren't there? Yes, but I mean that's why we have select committees so that there's thorough scrutiny of these things at an early stage and my own view is that uh, this country doesn't have a great history uh, in dealing with these major infrastructure transport projects. This one has tremendous potential, I mean the benefits to the Birmingham economy of reducing that travel time to 50 minutes are enormous uh, but it's quite right that before you embark on a 30 billion pounds project that some of the questions and criticisms are addressed obviously final quick word from you peter Luff. you're very knowledgeable on the railway industry shouldn't there be a moment's pause to take on board these criticisms from the committee well Briefly. the criticisms we listen to that's what the select committee system does as steve rightly says their points to be examined carefully as they should be i think it's the right thing to do to build this line we look very critically at the issues around it to make sure we get the detail right do you expect the bill to be on the statute book before the next general election? I sincerely hope so. Well, plenty of uh, mileage on this one. Uh, thank you very much indeed for uh, being with us here today, Steve and Peter. Thank you.